Oh no! I have a date in a few minutes, but I've got nothing to wear. Um, Sammy, would you please stop freaking out? That's easy for you to say. You haven't been on the first date for ages. What you doing? Just a cute little squishy. This will make it shimmer and sparkle. Uh, we all need a little sparkle in our lives, Susie. Oh, it looks so pretty. Uh, 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 shoo! I hope I'm not getting down with something. Oh, Sammy, look at all this mess. Okay, Susan, just stay calm and keep going. These beads are super squishy, and they're just what we need for the craft. And we will use this syringe to fill up our squishy with them. This is a job for a specialist. Dr. Sam's here. Now, where is the patient? It's worse than I thought. We don't have any time to lose. Syringe, stat. Is that so serious? Are you sure you have time for this? Well, I'm a professional. Or did you think I have this white coat just lying around? Ugh, this is intense. I need to get this right. You can do that. I've got you, Dr. Sam. It's soft and squishy, but it's a little boring. Let's make it more fun. Let's draw small ears on these pieces of nanotape. Do you think you can do that? Way ahead of you, Susie. You know I can't resist creating a masterpiece. There you go. Oh, I knew I can count on you, Sammy. You've never let me down. Just look how pretty nanotape looks now. I will swirl it this way to make one more cute detail for our squishy. <laughs> That's quite the look, Sam. But we're working here. Let me take these. Oh, bummer. We will carefully attach the ears to our squishy. And now we can give it a cute little face. Oh, I wish my eyelashes looked this good. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, what do you say? A unicorn? Whoa, it's so magical. But something's missing. It needs a colorful mane. Uh-huh, it's the latest style in Paris. And this is it. A cute, squishy unicorn is ready. I love it, Sue. But I don't want to squeeze it. I just want to be magical friends with it. That's okay. We can think of something else. Let's get to work. Hurry up, Sue. I gotta go on a date soon. You really need to chill out. Luckily, this next craft will help. Thanks, Sue. You're like my own human-shaped stress ball. Is that a compliment? <laughs> anyway, this phone case will also work up your appetite. Really, Sue? I'm the funny one in this duo. Don't forget about it. How could I? Hey, can you get me a yellow balloon, please? You've got it! One yellow balloon, coming right up! Special delivery for Sue! Hey, does this count as airmail? It sure counts as slime delivery. Hmm, <laughs> that should do it. Okay, I think I'm ready for it. Things are really starting to pop, just like this balloon. Oh, poor balloon. It had so much to live for. I'll always remember you. <laughs> now let's use up the production budget. Oh, gold slime. Wow, so fancy. Yep, we only use the best for you, Sam. I do have expensive tastes. <laughs> now check this out. Does it look extraordinary? Leave the comedy to me. I'd say it's exceptional. Oh, Sammy and his jokes. <laughs> this will definitely help you feel relaxed on your date. I love it, Sue, but I've got even more ideas. So, leave this phone case here and hurry up. Okay, okay, if you say so. Let's make something truly colorful. Check it out. Whoa, delicious juicy oranges. Yippee! Take it easy, tiger. These aren't food. Holy cannoli. But you know I love tasty fruit. Ugh. I'm aware of that. But you're going to love this too. Trust me. Allow me, Sue. You're such a gentleman, Sam. Your date is a lucky girl, you know. Thanks, I'm flattered. Hey, don't you think this squishy could use a workup? It's kind of just orange. It can be better, Sammy. Watch this. We'll make it look like another cute animal. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Well, yeah, it's pretty hard to tell just now. I'll give you a clue. It's a big cat and it lives in the jungle. A big cat, which is orange, lives in the jungle. Oh, I know, it's a tiger. You got it right, Sammy. Smart, funny, and handsome. Wow, your date has hit the jackpot. Oh, Sue, stop it. <laughs> nope, I'm kidding. Keep giving me compliments. Would you show off your drawing skills? I thought you'd never ask. I love how it turned out, Susie. Yeah, it's very cute. So, do you have something else up your sleeve? Hmm, hang on. I'm thinking. Yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. Yeah! This is going to be another phone craft. It'll be a squishy, squeezy stress relief on the go. And let's be honest, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Everything's going to be all right. Craft foam and balloons? It's all the things I like. I even have a jar of slime. It's so sticky and gooey. Wait a sec, it reminds me of my Uncle Steve. <laughs> if you say so, I need you to fill the balloons with the slime. Whoa, so much responsibility. Oops, I almost forgot, the floss. Good idea, I'll need fresh breath for my date. It's to tie the balloons, Sammy. <laughs> now I'll cut the foam paper to get a little house. A small triangle from this brown foam paper will make a roof. Here we go. Did I hear that right? Are you building a house? This is going to be the house. Hold on a second. It sounds too familiar. I know! It's from the Up! Animated film! You're right, as always. Oh, I just love Up. I'm going to go watch it. I hope we have some popcorn left. Oh, that's right. I've got a date. Ah! Oh, come on. You'll have this awesome phone case to relax if you feel nervous again. Just look at all these colors. It will match any outfit. I could really do this all day long. <laughs> okay, Sammy. Are we done with the crafts? Huh? Did you say something? Oh, wow. You're a genius. I know. But what does it have to do with anything right now? Give me a second and you'll see. This is going to be a perfect watermelon slice and a fun squishy at the same time. Now, I need something to fill it with. Something that's the same color as a watermelon. Hmm. I think I can help with that. Achoo! Ew, Sam, this isn't snot, is it? Well, uh, of course not, Sue. I pranked you. It's just slime. You got me, Sammy. Okay, let's stretch this slime out. Keep going. Pull, pull. Uh, this is it. I can. Help! Oh, Sammy, come back and hurry, or you will miss the most interesting part. Don't worry, Sue. I'm fine. Ooh, I can see some pretty stars. Um, I think you'd better lie down, Sammy. I don't have time for that. Did you forget about my date? Whoa! That little fella is pretty. It's not quite finished yet. We need to finalize a few details. That's right. It needs seeds, and I can fix that. Amazing job. It looks good enough to eat. <laughs> it's just a pity it's made of snot. What? Sam, but you said it was slime. Oh, you little prankster. All right, we've got time for one more craft, and it's going to be peachy. And you, Sam, will definitely be relaxed for the date after all this. You know, I completely forgot that I was nervous. I guess your method is working. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now get me nanotape, please. Here you go, bestie. You ask and I deliver. Oh, how nice to hear that. Okay, will you be so kind to do the honors? Sure thing! Ah, uh, come on! Here we go! Whew! I guess all those hours I spent in the gym are finally paying off! That's true. Okay, now we need to make a stem. Mother Nature will be proud of this! She sure would. <laughs> Next, we need a leaf. And voila! Yummy looking peach is ready! You know, Sue, I think I'm just like this peach, ready for my date. Glad to hear that. And now, let's look at everything we've made today. Just breathe! You can do this! You're
You're the bravest slime in the world. It doesn't work anymore. Calm down, Sammy. Breathe in and breathe out. What? Breathing, you say? Hmm. I'll get it. Oh, hi, Sam. It's me. I've been looking forward to our date all day. Here, these flowers are for you. Why, thank you. I've been so nervous waiting for a date with the Sam. Oh, but please don't say that. Oh, I hope they will have a good time. What if she doesn't like him? Come on, Sue. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax. See you around, y'all. Hi, y'all. Today, we are going to cook some delicious food for our friend Dolly's birthday party. Here she is. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Sammy. Zoo will also help us today. Am I right? Right, you are. Today we'll make a pizza, a fruit salad, some ice cream, and a cake, of course. Ah, uh, that's a lot of stuff. So what shall we start with? I'm so confused. Everyone likes pizza, so let's start with it. We already have a base. What else? Um, oh well, tomato sauce and some tasty toppings. We've got lettuce, mushrooms, onion, and pepper. All right, my professional opinion, this should be enough. Great, let's make tomato sauce then. It's fruit, by the way. And I always thought that tomatoes were veggies. I'm turning the blender on. What, tomato is a fruit? You've gotta be kidding, Susie. Now we'll add our sauce to the future pizza. One, two, three, and four. See? All of the pizza slices have some sauce on them. What should I add next? Let's see. I know, I know, it should be the cheese. Here it is, all yellow. And don't get greedy, add a lot of it. Okay, okay. Wow, looks cool. So did I cover all the pizza slices? Let me count. One, two, three, and four. Yep, you did great, Sue. Yeah. Now let's take care of the toppings. I have some olives here. I think it's great to start with them. They're awesome. By the way, did you know that olives grow on trees? Unbelievable, right on a tree? Here come the mushrooms. Look at this cute little buddy. <laughs> Friends, do you know where you can find the mushrooms? In the forest, of course. There are lots of them there. Correct, what's next? It's a green bell pepper. We should be really careful when we cut stuff. And here's a special place for it. Do you know what is missing, Sue? It's pepperoni. Yum, I can't wait to try this delicious pizza we're making. We're not done yet, Sammy. We have some lettuce, it goes right in the middle. On the second thought, I really want to add more cheese. There we go, great. Yay! Now we can finally bake our pizza! Hurry up, Susan, and don't get burned! That's right, the oven is really hot! We just need to wait a bit. Sue, how much longer? It's ready! Wow, friends, just check out this delicious and bright pizza we made! Let me cut it with this special pizza knife. One slice for me, please. Ooh, come to Papa! And we're moving on! Phew, it's got so hot in here with all the cooking. That's why we'll make ice cream. It will help you cool down. Hmm, I thought we had all the ingredients for it. Where did they go? Ah, here they are. Let's see what kind of fruit we have. A banana. And here comes an orange. A little green pear. A kiwi fruit, of course. And a strawberry. Awesome. Let's start with the banana. It is so yellow, like the sun. Next comes the green pear. It's green as grass on our lawn. And here's the kiwi fruit. It's also green with brown peel. This is a strawberry, so red and so sweet. And finally, the orange orange. Haha, <laughs> did you get it? To make an ice cream, we need to freeze all our fruit first. Hurry up, Sue, put them here. Ooh, this is great, it will be tasty. I need to bring the scoop. Where was it? I'm sure it was here. Aha, found it, make way. 
Well, is it ready? Let's see. Yep, our frozen fruit is ready to turn into delicious ice cream. I also need ice cubes. I will help you! Bang! Thank you, Sammy. Okay, here we go. Well, are you ready? Of course! Let's turn it on! <laughs> Amazing, we did great! Huh. It smells so good! Where was that scoop? And I've got this cone! Come on, put it here! Wow, so cool! This looks like the strawberry ice cream! I have to try it now! Oops! I ate too fast! Brain freeze! I will also get one! Mmm, it's so good! Sammy, it's time to bake the cake now! So friends, what do we need to make the cake? Sammy, any ideas? Sure! Get ready to write it down, Sue! We need one egg! Also butter, sugar, milk, and some flour and strawberries, of course! Great recipe! Let's start with the egg! We definitely need to break the shell first. Whoa! It's so slimy and stretchy! Next comes the butter! I already brought it! Here you go! Thank you! And right into the bowl it goes! Done! What's next? Flour! I've got the whole pack here! Great! Friends, did you know that flour is made from wheat? Wow! Right from the real wheat! And we make cakes from it later! How cool is that? Here goes some sugar to sweeten things up! The next ingredient is milk! It's purely organic! And who provides us with milk? Cows! I don't get it! Are we out of strawberries? I hope she doesn't notice! Sammy, give me that! Whoa, what a big strawberry! There we go! This should be enough for the cake! We can mix our batter now! It came out so fluffy! With such batter, we can make a soft and squishy cake! Sue, so we totally forgot about the cake decor! We totally need whipped cream! That's right! Thanks for the reminder, Sammy! We'll put it on top! All that's left is to bake the cake! It will happen in a flash! Sue, turn it on! Oh, it's done! Oh, wow! It is time for decorations! Would you just look at these beautiful roses? Each has its own place on our cake! This comes to the side! Sue, don't forget about the top layer! Gotcha! I will add a cute candle too, so Dolly can make a wish! Wow! We made a really amazing cake together! Great job! Sue! There's still not enough food! We have so many guests on the list! We need more appetizers for all of them! Then it's time to make a fruit salad! It always saves the day! I have everything we need to make a nice fruit salad! Wow! Everything is so bright and colorful! I love it! Let's start with watermelon! Where was it? Found it! Let's cut it in half! Here goes a piece! And here's another one! Banana is next! We need to cut it into pieces as well! Join your friend, Watermelon! Let's also add some kiwi fruit. It's tasty! Agreed! We can cut it into four little pieces! Like this! Now, friends, we need to find the dragon fruit! Can you spot it faster than me? You did it! Great job! Let's add it to our tasty salad right now! Wow! This salad looks really amazing, Sue! I'm sure it's tasty, too! And the guests are already here? That's fast!
We have everything ready. No peeking, Dolly. Okay, okay. So, are you ready to see your birthday surprise? Oh, my feta. There are so many delicious foods. Even the ice cream. And also a real birthday cake. Unbelievable. Yay! You all are here too, girls. This is awesome. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We did great. Everyone is happy. We're such a great team. That's right! Thanks for cooking with us today, friends. Subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, dear friends. Today we're going on a school field trip. Emily is sleeping. She'll be late for the bus. Let's wake her up. Come on, Emily. You're going to miss the adventure if you stay in bed. I'm awake. I just have a few things to do to get ready. First, you should brush your teeth when you get up. That keeps my teeth nice and clean. Now I need some orange juice for energy. It's delicious. I'll have some too, please. Now we just have to wait for the bus. Look, Peter, here it comes now. The blue bus has arrived. Everyone hop in. It's time for the adventure to begin. First, we'll stop right downtown. Look at all the amazing buildings. Which buildings should we check out first? There are so many to choose from. That says, mall. What's a mall, Emily? A mall is a place with lots of stores and restaurants. Oh, more buildings? W what's a hospital for? The hospitals take care of people who are feeling sick. It is full of helpful doctors and nurses. Amazing! Let's keep looking. This is my favorite building. It's a donut shop. Donuts are so yummy, but you can't eat them all the time. They're a special treat. Here, you two can share this one. But hurry up, the bus is here. We have so much more to see. Come on, Peter, we need to get going. Now we're driving into the countryside, along a curvy, twisty road. I wonder what we'll find out here. I see lots of big rocks. Hey, friends, why don't we count them together? Are you ready? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. You count very well. There are six big rocks in the field. All right, let's get back to our adventure. We're getting close. I hope you like our next stop. Come on, friends. We're in the forest. What will we discover here? I bet we can find lots of animals in the forest. Look, here comes one now. But what is it? Wow, it's a big brown horse. And she's not alone. Mommy, mommy, wait for me. A mommy horse is called a mare. And a baby horse is called a colt. Oh, here comes another one. It's the daddy horse. Let's count them. One horse. Two horses. Three horses. Now who is this? It's an elephant. Wait, there are more elephants. It's a whole family. And here's the last one. These are special elephants. They're all blue, just like the bus. Will you count them with me, dear friends? One, two, three, four. There are four elephants. Do you think there are other animals out here? I'm sure there are. Let's see. Hey, here's a cute little pig. Pigs are pink and say oink. This isn't a horse, it's a zebra. It almost looks like a horse, but it's different. It has black and white stripes. And this is a friendly pink hippo. They like to swim. Whoa, here's a tiger. Don't get too close. It might look like a kitty cat, but tigers are dangerous. That was fun, but we have one more stop. Bye-bye, animal friends. We'll come back to visit. They should have stayed for our picnic. Oh, well, that means there's more hay for me. Where can you find ships and water and lots of sand? The beach, of course. 
And if you're lucky, you might even see these animals. Do you know what they are? They have shells and move really slow. Yes, they're turtles. They might seem the same, but they're all different. Look closely, friends, and you'll see different colored shells. I'll show you. This one is black. He's blue. This one's white. And this one is green. I've never seen turtles up close. They're cool. Can I pet one? No, Emily. We should always leave wild animals alone. There's a big ship out on the water. It can take us around the world. Hey, where's Emily? I'm the captain of the ship. Ships are cool, but if you want to really see the ocean, then come with me. Let's go, friends. We can travel under the water in this purple submarine. We'll see lots of great things, and we won't get wet. Going underwater is like visiting a strange new world. Everything is different down here. But we'll be safe in the submarine. Down we go. Now look around and see all the interesting animals. There's so many different creatures swimming around. This is a seahorse. Down here is an octopus. And here's a happy squid floating by. I wonder where he's going. Some sea animals don't swim. The lobster crawls along the ocean floor. And so does the crab. Be careful, they can pinch you. Ouch! And some sea animals breathe air like we do. They live inside the ocean and on land. This one is a seal, and this is a walrus. I love that there is so much variety down here, and so many different colors. It's like looking at a rainbow. The octopus is red. And look, it has eight arms. The seahorse is orange. And this fish is yellow, the same color as the sun. Here's a blue fish. Blue is my favorite color. And this one has two colors. It's orange and black. Here's one that is orange and black and white. It's called a clownfish. What kind of animals do you see when you go swimming? Are they as colorful as all of these are? That was lots of fun, but it's time to leave. Oh no, a shark! Let's get out of here! Our field trip is over. We're finally back at school. We can get off the school bus and see all our friends. They're waiting to hear about our adventure. That was so much fun. I can't wait to go on another field trip. We saw lots of interesting animals and cool places. I hope you all had fun too. <laughs> we all had so much fun today with you, dear friends. I can't wait to play with you again. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more adventures. Until next time, bye-bye.